Hi guys, another video about my Akai Mini setup. I could improve it slightly lately. Um, first, uh, the, the context. Uh, a couple of months ago, I experimented um, dynamic multi view management with VMix UTC. And uh, um, it was based on multi layout inside a single multi view. And I was very satisfied with uh, the result I got, so I wanted to find a solution to reproduce this effect uh, with the Akai. And with V18 it was not really possible, not easy, but thanks to V19 new features and new commands in the API, uh, it's now possible to do it. So let me show you. Um, if you watch my previous video about the Akai, you certainly remember six inputs, two multi views, input seven, multi view one, input eight, um, multi view number two. Um, here you can notice four new buttons, two yellow, two greens. The yellow ones uh, use this new command, which is called uh, multi view overlay. It's basic uh, toggle on and off for an overlay inside an, a multi view. So if I press here, overlay number two disappears. Pressing it again, it comes back. Same thing for overlay number one. This is easy, basic, but it's all. Uh, um, it's dynamic and I like that. Um, uh, an, easy, an easy use case, an interesting use case is uh, for example when you don't have uh, many cameras and you're using a PTZ you don't want to move your next to move the camera when when it's on air so you can hide this camera move the camera, prepare next shot, and when you're ready, you call it back. Basic. Um, these two greens button are more complicated. Well, they use script. So, um, you need vMix uh, 4K or vMix Pro to, to do the same, uh, or you can use vMix UTC. Um, let me show you before I explain. When I press this button, you can notice that the layout of the multi-view has changed. The framing has changed, and uh, now I've got a two of uh, overlay multi-view when I had three before. When I press this button here, I'm coming back to the previous layout. Uh, an interesting thing is the script um, calls overlay number four before uh, before this overlay was hidden. When I press here, it calls it, and at the same time, it moves it to position number one, which uh, makes uh, it possible to switch this overlay with my first row of buttons. Uh, previously it was for uh, the small image. Now I can use the same buttons to manipulate another overlay. And at the same time the script moves overlay number three, which is the Akai, which becomes overlay number two. So this second row of buttons um, triggers this overlay too. Pressing here, I can change the image in my overlay. When I press here, I'm coming back to my previous setup. Uh, interesting thing is, for example, I can merge with another um, another multi view. This one, for example. I press here, and when I merge back, the layout has changed. So this dynamic multi-layout, multi-view uh, is something interesting. It gives the impression that you have many multi-views 
in fact you have only one or two but they can change uh, the shape uh, the, the the layout so um, that's it for today I hope you liked it I will give more information about the um, way to do it uh, in the post on the forum so certainly I will copy the script I use they are basic but okay and hope you liked it and see you next time bye bye